Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing on the most important aspect of web driver, that is the web driver architecture. You know, like whatever we do in this world, let it be, you know, making a building, making a house, you know, working, uh, working on Java or on Eclipse. For any point in time or for every time that we work on something, we should be aware about how things are working beneath or you know how our instructions are being processed. So this tutorial would be focusing on what is the web driver's architecture. You know how your commands are actually getting started from your Java and getting compiled on the browser and then results are coming back to you. Now let's see how it works. So your web driver architecture is divided into three main parts. First is the language binding, second is the web driver API and third is the driver. You are aware about this language binding. This language binding means in what language are you coding, you are processing your things. Say I am using Java and I have made the object of web driver as driver. Now this driver object is actually communicating with this driver API. Now what do we mean by communicating? The communication here means that it interprets this particular code and makes it compatible or to run on the Selenium WebDriver API. Now this WebDriver API actually sends the code to the driver. Now what is a driver? You know your driver it might seem like that it is you know it is a different browser or it's an IE but it's a complete different set of instruction your web your browser is customized and is made compatible to run on for the web driver what happens is all the instructions that are you know passed to this web driver API these instructions are interpreted you know like we have two ways in which we can you know encode the instructions the first way is the one in which we actually compile the instruction and the second one is interpret the instruction the browser actually interprets each line and then works now all of the actions that we are that we are working on are or we are doing are actually emulated by the browser itself and when these actions are performed, there is a result of this action. The result is sent back from this to this particular API. Now we actually based on result available with the API, we are actually able to analyze that what happened to our you know, test case. Was it, a, you know, was it a pass or a failed test case? Now, you know this is an overall architecture but how is this architecture improved from the previous versions of selenium till now what was happening was here are you and here is a browser selenium was interacting between them till the rc but now from uh, from the web driver you know from the web driver's point of view now what is happening is the web driver is actually interacting directly with the browser there is no middleman involved this direct communication actually makes the architecture of web driver easier and less complex now let's have a look and you know a study about all of these components one by one so web driver architecture is simpler than selenium irc's i have already told you why is it it controls browser from the OS level. Since it is controlling the browser from the OS level, it means that first, the execution time is less. And second, we don't need to wait for the instructions much. And it is much faster. Then, what are language level bindings? What happens is, the language level binding we implement in the web driver code. You know, whatever framework we are making using the programming language will help the web driver and then work on different browser. So say you have written web driver uh, driver equal to equal to new Firefox driver. What it is doing is it is actually you know binding this framework with this particular web driver API. Now, what is the work of the web driver API? Let's see. The web driver API interprets the command taken from the bindings and transfers it to the respective driver. Like in my case, the driver was Firefox driver. What you can like the web driver, like in short, what we can say that web driver API is a common library which sends the commands to the respective driver. You know, irrespective of the fact you are using Firefox or Chrome or Mozilla, the entire library remains the same. Just the output differs, that's all. Now the driver interprets the command sent by you to the driver API 
and once the command is executed the result is sent back to the API where you see the result on your system for the code you have written so it's very simple you type you know you type something in the, using the language that is actually interpreted by the driver which sends the command to your respective browser or to the respective browser driver basically from there the you know the command is actually you know processed and the result is sent back to the web driver api and you see the result in the language of code you have written so this was all about the architecture of web driver stay tuned as you know we will be having we would be actually working on the web driver one by one